because, well, you know, if the Rams are up and uh, they may be talking about a Cal Berkeley guy, well, we'll find him in the Rams draft form in L.A. Mike? Well, Rhett, I really don't think you want to play the alma mater who's going to go first game with me Mike. tonight. And, and Rhett, I am here in the Rams war room. Uh, over my shoulder, you see general manager Les Snead. Uh, super happy that I'm here. Coach Jeff Fisher will be in here a little later, and I will be here all night, including that golden moment when the Rams uh, pick a certain quarterback first overall. And uh, these guys were kind enough to let me in four years ago to their first draft. They took Michael Brockers in the first round. Uh, two years later, I was there when they took Greg Robinson, uh, tackle from Les Snead's alma mater, second overall. And now they've made the bold trade to get up to number one. It's been a nice uh, way for the Los Angeles Rams to register some glitz in this town. I'm really excited to be in here for that moment. Uh, and now I'm going to kick it out to the city of brotherly love where my brother from another mother, Jeff Darlington, proud Florida graduate, has shockingly moved inside to escape the yes. elements. Isn't that the truth? Mike Silver, the only reporter in the country who had lunch with Jared Goff this week and dinner with Jeff Fisher. That's an impressive resume right here. In Philadelphia, though, we're still talking about Sam Bradford, Silver, and that's because we're still wondering whether he is going to be traded or not. But I can tell you that based on my conversations, both within the organization and outside of it, that it still seems like a reach to expect Bradford to depart at least this weekend. I don't sense that the Eagles are willing to take a very small share when it comes to draft picks, and I certainly don't sense that there's any teams out there like the Denver Broncos willing to give up too much. That could change as the weekend progresses, but for right now, Rhett, back in the studio, or I should say out in Chicago, it looks like Bradford will be here <laughs> when Carson Wentz arrives. Jeff, Mike, thanks very much. Taking a look now.